high. So, now that we've finished our subject, mathematics, we need to discuss your exam. Of course, I want to remind that this video is for economics students alone. For me, if you are looking for, if you are looking for explanation of the exam for management, just switch to the other place. Okay, so look, your exam is going to be, of course, online. And it's going to be a test, A, B, C, D. You will have four questions, four answers to choose from. Look, I, I learned during the last session how easy it is to cheat. So, this exam, let's please treat it as a gift from me, is going to be an open book exam. So you can have your notes. If you don't have ones, I recommend going through the playlist again and making the notes because they can be useful during your exam. Of course, if you do not practice doing the exercises, you will not be able to pass this exam. Because the reason that I'm allowing you to have I'm allowing you to have uh, uh, the notes is that the questions are going to be slightly more complicated than they used to be, for example, last year. So, be prepared to do these questions. You can use the notes, you can use the formulas, but you need to know how to apply them. And look, I strongly recommend them passing this exam because most likely this is the only time when mathematics exam is going to look like this. Okay, so how is it going to work? You're gonna, I'm going to send you a link and you're going to click at this link an appropriate time. Uh, the time of course is given uh, in your in your Euchenia or Virtual Nauchenia, whatever you're using, and you will have to answer the questions from these seven sections. First, you will have two two questions on matrix algebra. Each of these questions will be worth five points. Uh, then you will have to solve a system of simultaneous equations using Kramer's rule or matrix inversion. It, it, all the information will be provided to you within the question and you will have 10 points for this question. Now, uh, question number three is on calculation of derivatives. You will have to calculate two derivatives, each is worth five points. In question number four, you will have to either draw a function, find its maximum, minimum inflection point, or this question will be on profit maximization. It is going to be worth 10 points. Then, in question number five, you will have to calculate two indefinite integrals. So each question is going to be worth two points. Then in section number six, you will have to calculate area below the function or between two functions, of course using definite integrals. And this question is going to be worth 10 points. Finally, section number seven is going to concern finding maximum or minimum of a function with more than one variables plus with a constraint. Okay, because we've done the cases with the constraint and without. This question is worth the most points, it's worth 50 points. Now, the thing that is going to be there is that 
each and every one of you is going to have a different set of questions. So copying out of one another is going to be very, very problematic. Especially that I'm preparing those uh, questions in such a way that two exercises might seem almost identical. There will be just one thing different. And you will even have the same set of four answers to these questions. But the answers to both of these questions are going to be different. Uh, I'm doing it to minimize the possibility, possibility of cheating. All of you will start uh, the exam at exactly the same moment, so helping one another is gonna be very, very hard to do. Now, how much time will you have for each question? Well, it depends on the question, but uh, don't worry, there's gonna be plenty of time. I usually use a very simple rule. I do the question relatively slowly for my taste, and then I multiply the time by five. So if you have a question in which you have to multiply two matrices, well, it usually takes me a couple of seconds. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes. Uh, the most time you will have for a uh, problem from the section seven, of course, but it's gonna be, of course, depending on the type of question that you're gonna have. Because, of course, sometimes it's e e you can find the maximum or minimum in a matter of two, three minutes, as, uh, assuming that you know what you're doing. But, of course, especially in the cases with constraints or with three uh, 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 independent variables, then it might be a little bit more time consuming. So the time is actually going to be adjusted uh, to the difficulty level of a question. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. And the good thing about the fact that you're going to do a test online is that you're going to know your result right away. Now, as you can see over here, the total amount of points you can get is 75. So this is the maximum amount, right? Now, in order to pass, you need to have at least 40%. So, you need to pass, you need to have at least 30 points. Okay, so if, as you see, getting 30 points means that you need to complete uh, at least three sections fully, or uh, you need to get some points from the sections where you have two questions. Okay, now, uh, this is uh, um, uh, the, the thing is, what, you will have only one attempt at each question, so use your times wisely. First, you're gonna get a question about matrix algebra. When you finish this, when you provide an answer, or the time passes, uh, uh, you will be automatically moved to another question. There is no possibility of going back, so use your time very wisely. Okay, so this is it. Thank you for your attention. Good luck on the test. If you have any other specific questions, Please use the Facebook group to ask me, or any other means, but I prefer the Facebook group because I can reply very fast from any device, 
uh, and everybody can actually see the answer. So if somebody else has got a similar question, they can uh, actually see the answer right away. Okay, again, good luck and uh, take care.